Hello to all, it's Living the Good Life and it's time for some more garage sale and estate sale finds. Let's get to it. Went to a church rummage sale and it was a couple of towns away and we were kind of just uh, worked our way to it. I think we found out late about it or something. So uh, we went to an estate sale first and I thought, okay, there's not gonna be much left. And my, I, and I just, all of a sudden I saw this shape and I go, oh, what is that? And it, so it was this uh, Amish butter print, uh, smallest Cinderella bowl, and it was $2. So that was really good. Also went to a, a garage sale, and they were just setting up. And they let me go inside and look at everything before they brought it out. I got this candle. It was marked three, and the other, other, other item was marked four. And I asked if I should take it for five for both. She said yes, so I got the candle for two and the little Santa music box for three. Um, also went to a garage sale, it had some promise, um, but you know, the only thing I could find was this abalone and sterling shell necklace for $2. I did come up on this one. This was a town north of us and we again worked our way to it and I should have went there earlier. It's one of those things where you didn't find the listing for the garage sale until later and it said if you wanted to make an appointment to come early and see things in shop, you could. And we thought, how in the world did we miss that? But, um, you know, and I looked throughout, throughout the day, but we still missed it and I still found some good stuff. So I found this Sterling Baby Rattle. It's seen better days, but it was $1 and that was neat. I found this commemorative cup for when, um, King George and Queen Mary, uh, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, visited Canada, Canada in 1939. It was a dollar. Found. I don't know why I got this. This is the state of New Jersey, um, tercentenary from 1964 bronze. Um, I'll try to sell that somewhere. <laughs> And see if anybody at a garage store want anything wants it. It was a dollar. Um, what else did we get there? Oh, I got this uh, lamp with the sterling base for a dollar. And this is a brass book rack. Expandable. Well, that's not a very good. As you can see, you put the books in there and it'll telescope back and forth. Um, and so that was a dollar too. So it's, everything was so cheap. Um, also, this last Friday, found this little Santa for a dollar. And, let me see what else. This, actually I found another piece. This is Van Briggle. This is my first piece of Van Briggle. Oh, I never can tell if it's the right way, just a second. No, this way. And I really couldn't tell what it was until I got out in the car. And if you start here, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Pardon me, Van Briggle. I'm too far into this video to stop, so please excuse me. Van Briggle, and here's their um, little cipher up here. And it is like a moth one. So that's my first piece of Van Briggle. And it was $2. Let's see. Okay, um, I have split up some fines because I have to take some of these to a friend. So this is from another sale you're going to see in the next video. It was a family run estate sale. There was some neat artwork so I got these for her. It's that faux bamboo kind of thing from the 60s. And here are some um, workers. And there's a man and a woman and those are a dollar a piece. And uh, let's see. Let's look at this. Uh, I had asked, um, saw a garage sale that uh, said that they were going to have some jewelry, and this is the only thing I could find. The mother was having a hard time getting rid of her stuff at the garage sale, even though she knew she had to because she was going to be moving, and I think the daughter was politely getting exasperated, but I found this Hollywood Regency style jewelry casket, $2, including contents, so inside was an, this enamel flower, this white bead necklace, I think it says Monet. There was this, I thought, oh, this is so cute. And then you look, it says Sears. <laughs> oh, 
And then here is another enamel pin. I'm having a flashback to the 60s. And I was a baby then, in case you're asking. Well, a little older. <laughs> uh, here are some uh, Christmas clip-on earrings. Oh, here is a really neat one. Here's another orange one. I've heard orange is the big color lately. Orange. Here's a couple more costume earrings. So that's that's all that's in there. And then I um, went to a sale. I was the first one there, and I'm just I'm just going to show you some of the jewelry from it, and then show you the rest later. Uh, I got this 14, 12 karat gold necklace with this little leaf. It was one dollar. I got these uh, turquoise earrings and pendant set, and it's that, I think it's the Desert Rose Trading Company, DR, whatever. Those were a dollar as well as some other stuff was in it. The star is this, so I pull this out, it's got this heavy chain that is, that is not sterling, can you imagine if it was, but look at this. This covers, you know, half of my palm. This is sterling. It's G, oh, I forgot, Spencer. Oh, I gotta look again. Yeah, G Spencer. Sterling with this huge piece of turquoise. Look at that. You get the proportions of it. $5. Boy, once I saw that in there, I started digging and digging to see if there was any more. There wasn't but it was sure was a fun find. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything, and like as usual, if I've left something out, I'll put it on the next video. Take care, love to have your subscription, and you know how much I enjoy your comments. Take care, bye-bye.